often find that supplementing our subjects with just some fun books helps make the day go better, the subject go better, and us just enjoy homeschool more. So today I want to look at my current favorite supplemental books. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are returning. I'm so thankful that you are here. I'm just having a blast getting to know you through YouTube. I am the mama of a fifth grader and we are having so much fun on this homeschool journey and on this channel, I share with you just our journey and I would love it if you would subscribe and join us and share your journey with me as well. Today, I wanna to take a few minutes and just chat about the different supplemental books that we are enjoying for a variety of subjects. First up, let's talk English grammar. So I found this series through Amazon. <laughs> actually, um, because with my Amazon Prime with Kindle, I could get some of these free. And so I did download the first one and my daughter loved it. She wanted to read it over and over again. And so it was, what was a verb? And then I was trying to find this one, what is an adjective? Um, we could also do what is an adverb for free on Amazon Prime, but I couldn't get what is an adjective for free. Um, and it was actually then less expensive for me to find it on thrift books than it was to go through the Kindle. But this is just an extremely cute book that talks about, well, this one talks about adjectives and it gives you all kinds of different examples and it's just so much fun and every one of them is fun. Here's the one for homonyms. How much can a bear bear bear? So, and again, these are just picture books, but they are so much fun. These really drive home whatever concept or part of speech we're talking about. This one is, what is a synonym? Pitch and throw, grasp and know. So you can see, these are just super cute books. They're easy to read, but again, they just really drive home whatever you're talking about. So we are having a lot of fun with these books um, for English grammar. Now for history, if you know me, you know, I'm going to talk about the Who Was books. We are talking about the Wild West right now in history. So we've been, we read Who Was Annie Oakley, What Was the Wild West, and we're currently almost finished with Who Was Sitting Bull. These are wonderful books. Um, they are very age appropriate for fifth grade. We used them last year for fourth grade and they were age appropriate then as well. Um, they are easy to read. They pack a bunch of information into them and they have the pictures, which is one of the things that my daughter also really likes about them. So for history, we are still really enjoying the Who Was books. <laughs> for science, one of our favorites is Rosie Revere Engineer. So these are, again, picture books. Now there are also chapter books in the series. Um, which we're going to start using shortly, but these currently are picture books and we like those. I was able to get Ada Twist Scientist from our library and this one is just as good as the other one, <laughs> but I found um, on Book Outlet, Ada Twist Big Project Book for Stellar Scientists. And so this is a great supplement to the book and it has actual projects in it. You get to just really use it. We, um, let's see here, we have liked doing why does the moon change shape? So here's why does the moon? We have enjoyed doing some of the activities in here. Here's one on constellations. Then we also, a growing plant. Hmm. Then <laughs> another one. My daughter really wants to do um, rotten peaches and respiration and it's um you get to let your fruit um rot <laughs> so, watching it rot watch it rot so but this is a nice supplement it's a lot of hands-on activities that just goes with a great picture book so we have really enjoyed that 
For math, I jumped in and bought circumference and all the King's tens. So this is a picture book and this one's about place value. Um, Lady Di is wanting to throw a party and she has to count how many people are there so she knows how much lunch to make. And so this is all about place value for tens. Now I had wanted, I had looked at this book for a long time because I thought it would be fun but I didn't want to spend the money on it. <laughs> My library doesn't carry it. So I ended up finding it on Thrift Books. So make sure that you check out Thrift Books because these were quite a bit less expensive there than any place else that I could find them online. I also purchased Circumference Great Knight of Angle Land and then Circumference and the Sword in the Cone. So these are some fun ones that we're doing for math. But also for math, this book, I mean, this has been amazing. So this is the DK Smithsonian Math Maker Lab. I found this at our library and I checked it out and then I renewed it and then I returned it and then I checked it out again. <laughs> so we are having so much fun with this book. There are 27 activities that you can do that are math related. And my daughter is going through and she's been marking them and telling me we need to get to this one, we need to get to that one. So we have sample. Here's how to make an impossible triangle. For some of the review for multiplication facts, we made fortune tellers for these. And we are just having a great time with this book. With It has so many ideas to utilize with math. I hope that this video has given you some ideas of some fun supplements to use for different subjects. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. I will definitely answer them to the best of my ability. If you want more information about any of the books that I have shown here, then please leave that in the comments as well. And I'll, I'll be happy to provide more information. Also, please let me know if you have some supplemental books that you are enjoying. I'm always on the lookout for new ones just so that we can keep this fun and exciting. I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.